Hey everybody, it's your bro Luke Feast back at you with another video. Today, I'm gonna work on the theme song that I posted a while ago. I'm gonna get on to the planning, the drawing, the coloring, and the keyframing. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey everybody, it's your bro Luke Feast. I have a cartoon that I like to post as a series and it's called Story of Trey. I recently changed the art style from a more Simpsons-y look to a more different kind of style, but I noticed some problems in the new style. So I wanted to redraw the characters just a little bit. So the way I make the animation is I draw it on paper. I just like drawing it on paper, the characters, because it, it gives it more of a free hand feel and I can understand where I'm going. But for the background and objects to get those straight lines, I use a tablet. That being said, when I drew the characters for Story of Trey, for instance Trey, when he's looking this way you can tell he has a chin that goes out. But when he's looking this way, the chin isn't there. That was just a minor problem I noticed. But I did start redrawing the characters. And not only did I fix up that little problem, but I added more frames to the head turns. I'm gonna get into that right now. So, when I draw and finish each individual character drawing, I put them into manila envelopes. And then I keep the drawings, the characters, into this filing cabinet I just happen to have in my room. So these are the middle manila envelopes and each one is a different character. This one is minor character. Haven't drawn that. Let's see, where's Trey? Joe Bo. Joe Bo is like kind of the jockey character, for instance. I'm gonna pull out Joe Bo. This is his character file. Also, I added a mohawk to him. I thought it would make kind of like make him look kind of unique in a way. Here he is, Joe Bo. And so I added more head movements. So you can see his head has a bit more frames of him moving his head. New. Yeah. So I added more frames of his head moving right here. I added a lot more head turns, as you can see. Like before, I only had so many. Now I'm gonna get into how I draw the character. Now I'm gonna get into drawing one of the characters for the animation. Now, I'm gonna get on to drawing some characters. So this is obviously a glass table. I'm gonna draw the character Butler Butt. He's the robot Andy built to help them do their homework and chores and stuff. This is what his head looks like. And I'm just gonna animate his head turning. I added these lines right here to keep the paper in place. We can just lay that right there. And now, where's my blank paper? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna put a piece of paper over it. You can't see through it right now. It's invisible. But if you shine a light underneath the glass table, you can see it. So that's what we're gonna do. I have a light right here. Now we can see through it, see? Looks pretty nice. And we can see what we're working with. So now I'm gonna trace over his head. Also, I'm adding different eyebrows for each character just to make it look a little more unique for each one. I'm gonna make his head turn this way. So for the eyes, we can just add them turning maybe a little bit to the right, like right here. Maybe that's too far. I want it like just a tiny bit. Before the, it was a lot more of a head movement, but right now I'm just adding tiny head movements. Even that's a little far. And then for the nose, maybe the nose angle's a little less. We can work on the nose now. My hair is so shaggy, but it won't be completely like that, it's gonna angle, and this can have more of a hard angle, like his head is turning. And then the bottom of his neck. Now this ear piece, I'm just gonna use that as like, as like an ear. We can angle it a little to the side right here. And maybe this can be fading off right here. Now this part of the neck can go up, and I guess this antenna would stay the same, right? Cause it's just parallel on each side. You can just like have it the same way all around. But then, we're gonna have to change the angle of this head. So we're gonna have to go up, right here. And maybe the chin will go up a little more 
angled because that would make that would just make sense i feel like this should be actually i'm gonna erase this right here i'm gonna make this more angled like this and then this can be fading off right here so now his head's turning but i'm gonna connect this part so now we got his head turning a little bit so we got this first head and now his head turns a you can't really see it that well i guess huh i'm gonna take out the middle one his head turns a little bit just a slight amount so now his head's turning a little bit. I'm gonna add another head movement. I'm just gonna, his eyes go a little more right here. And this is what I've been doing for the past couple of days, actually. I've been wanting to upgrade some of the characters. And one right here, a neck right here, and then this chin can go up. Does that look okay? I feel like this should be angled a little less. And then we make the nose go straight. Like this part will be straight, but then we can add this and make it a hard angle. Like his nose is turning even more, but from that perspective, it's straight. And then we can add the ear going this way a little bit more. And the head can go right here, back of the head. That should be fine. Antenna-able. And then the ear is completely gone right here. So now his head's moving and you can see that there's a lot more head movements now. I also added different eyebrows right here. So these are Trey's eyebrows, these are Ethan's eyebrows, and these are Andy's eyebrows. That way they each look individual and I didn't add two eyebrows on each side. I used one so I can manipulate them a little more freely. Here's some blinking and I only added one pupil I can just copy and paste it and it would be more easy to manipulate. Oh yeah, Butler Butt has a body and I drew that. Now I'm gonna get onto some inking. Now, I'm gonna get onto some inking. I am gonna use an 0.8 millimeter pen. Yeah. And I'm just gonna trace Butler Butt. Start with the ass. There, now we inked it. Now I'm gonna put it onto the scanner and scan it onto the document. What now? Scan that. My other scanner broke, so I'm borrowing this one. No. There it is, you can't really see it. I don't know, can you see it? Now I'm gonna get onto some coloring. Now, I'm gonna get on to some coloring. So, I'm on Adobe Illustrator right now, and I can go to File, Open, and these are just, I put all the raw drawings into different folders. So, for instance, we can go to the Butler bot we made. I'm gonna select all of them. I accidentally made one a PDF, but I think it will still work. Yeah, it works, even though it's a PDF. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna color the head. To make the background a transparency grid, you can go Curl, Shift, D, or you can go you can go to view, show transparency grid, so you can understand what's not in the background. Click it and go to image trace, which is under window image trace. And I'm gonna go default black and white logo, object, expand, okay, now we can like color and stuff. I'm gonna color the head. So I got all these pre-saved colors right here. Maybe that gray would look okay, or maybe a little darker. I'm gonna make, give the ears like a really dark gray. Maybe that can be like that color. And that can be even darker brown, like that. That looks pretty, uh, maybe that color. And I liked it before, I like that color. Maybe these can be dark too, like that. Yeah, I like that right there, right there. And then that can be, so now we got the head of Butler Butt. I can just copy it and paste it into this blank document. File, export as. So I got all these pre-saved characters and we can just put it into Butler Butt. I mean, and when you export it, make sure it's a PNG. So the background is transparent. We also need to export his eyebrow. I'm gonna give him like a dark gray eyebrow. E-Y-E-B-R-O-W. Oh, the, so the problem with, I borrowed a new scanner and it made it way bigger than all the other sizes of the paper, which is a problem because I want them to be consistent sizes. So what I did, and I found out, I just rotated it, obviously, 180 degrees. 
I just scaled it down to the size. I'm gonna make the torso the same gray right there. No, that's not the right gray. That gray? No, that's not right. It's this gray. Here we go. God damn it. No, 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 no. There, gray. I think I'm gonna make this like whatever part, maybe a little darker gray right there. And then we can have these like bolt things be like the dark, dark gray right here. I like that better, honestly. And now I'm gonna export the torso. What's this? The arm. I'm gonna scale it down. I added four fingers, but I added the fingers like squarey so it like looks more robotic. I think I want the hand that, uh, maybe like that gray. We can make that like, I feel like that gray would be okay. It's his head turning we drew. Also, if you don't remember the color, if you don't remember what color you were supposed to use, you can go, let's say, to what you were drawing before and drag in that, for say. And then you can use this dropper icon. Click the direct selection tool and click the thing you wanted color. Bam, and then we got the correct color. Just so you can confirm you're using the right colors. That one was a little less dark gray. Oops, sometimes, I, sometimes if it bleeds, like that, if it's on the outside, you can just take it, the eraser tool and go like, whoa, and just fine tune it like that, that color gray, right? So I drew these legs. We can go color them the way we want to. Maybe I can give this like a darker gray. These can be lighter gray. No, I want this to be like that gray. Maybe I can make these like knee pieces like dark gray like that. I like that. And these can be dark gray too. Maybe that can be a little less dark gray. It kinda is off-putting. Yeah, I like that better. Copy the legs and export. Now I'm gonna get on to some keyframing. Now I'm gonna get into some keyframing. So this is the project I've been working on, and you might notice, hey look, his torso's missing. And I'm gonna get into the significance of that. We still had his torso, but what I did was, you gotta be careful when animating not to rename things when they're already, oh, see there. But so, for instance, and I'm like, oh wait, I need to rename that. So I changed the name of that file, and it went missing on here, so be careful when naming your files on Thankfully, I already exported it. So this is what we got so far. Him walking, and there's music too. This is the theme song. And then this one, he's walking here. And we even got this. My name is Trey and I really like the party. These are all the head movements I was using and it makes it look a lot cleaner. I'm gonna get on to number four where I say live every day in adventure without worry. Some of you might know the theme song already. You got the background and I already planned out like that's the couch, that's the lamp. I'm gonna add a folder for ButlerBot. Now I'm gonna drag in these drawings we drew into there. I'm just gonna drag this one mouth movement in. He's not gonna talk. I'm gonna use him in the background right here. So I'm gonna drag in his legs. Maybe he's gonna stand right here. You know, add his torso, and I like how this is turning out. It looks a lot better than the last time. Now I'm gonna add his arm, and this is what his arm look like, looks like now. It's just like a... I'm gonna add his arm right there. I'm gonna copy and paste the arm. Now we can add his head. Oh yeah, I wanna add his pupils too. But I don't want just any old pupils. I wanna give him gray pupils to make it look kinda robotic-y. The drawing I was talking about earlier, what I scanned, so I'm gonna go to image trace, and this, I'm gonna give Butler Butt a gray pupil. I'm gonna give him like a light gray pupil like that. There, now we can just export those for certain characters. Now I can drag in the pupil, rename P-U-P-I-L, there. Now I'll drag it in, Butler Butt Pupil. I'm OCD like that. So I'm gonna add a layer, and just drag the pupil right there. And this is on a new layer. Now I'm gonna have him looking at the camera, like breaking the fourth wall. Now we can add the eyebrow, but I added them separately this time so we can manipulate them easier. I think that looks okay. That actually looks pretty good, actually. I like that. Now I'm gonna add Trey. Maybe his torso is like this way. And then I can add his arm. And this is what I drew for the arm. I kind of changed the arm and it looks more like that now. 
But I'm gonna go to the asset warp tool and click the shoulder, the elbow, and the wrist. We can just bend it like that. Copy, paste. And then I'm gonna transform and flip horizontal and I can send this to the back. Now I'm gonna make his head go forward. Now I wanna make it like a good size relative to his body. Feels a little big, but like right there maybe. I feel like that's better, yeah. Now I'm gonna add a layer for his pupils. He's gonna be like looking at the camera too. His eyebrow, that's the color of his eyebrow. We can just copy and paste it right here. Now we got the basic outline for all the, this particular animation part. I'm gonna have his head turn. That's a little loud. I'm gonna have his head turn around so we can have, I'm gonna add a keyframe right here and delete this head. I'm also gonna make sure to add a keyframe for the pupils so they can move with his head when I turn it. We were using this head right here. So I'm gonna make him turn forward a little bit and I'm gonna make sure it's the same size. It says 69% smaller. So I'm gonna make this 69% smaller and we can just place it over. That's how I do it. And I'm gonna make the eyebrows and the pupils move with his head. So now he's looking at us. Now it looks like this. And you can tell there's a lot more frames. Maybe he turns his head forward here. What size was it again? 69% smaller. So I can make that 69% smaller. And maybe I'm gonna have his body move too. So right here, I'm gonna move his pupils, but I want his torso to move forward too. So I'm gonna, right here we can just delete the torso. So I'm gonna just drag the torso in right here. Make sure it's the same size and place it over the body. So now it looks like this. So his body turns with his head. I'll make his arm go a little higher. Oh wait, you can see that. And maybe his eyebrows move up. So now instead of just adding a different eyebrow emotion, we can add a keyframe and maybe his eyebrows move a little bit up like that. I feel like that'll make it look a lot more animated. Maybe they go even higher. Maybe his head turns the other way. I'm gonna add a keyframe for his pupils right here too. His head can go a little bit this way. It was 69, right? Yeah. 69% smaller. You can place the head over the body. I feel like I need to manipulate these better. This can go more like right here. Another one right here and the head can go more, turn a little bit more. And we can also add blinking. I drew some blinking. Maybe he can blink from here to here. I drew these blinks so we can just add this little squint right here. We can just place it over both eyes. We can add a keyframe for the next frame and we can add we can add the squinting going down even more. Now he closes his eyes completely around the third frame. And I'm just gonna copy this. Now we just get onto the mouth movements. This is what we got right now. Live every day in adventure without worry. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a mouth movement. So for each vowel he says, we can add a different mouth movement. Right here, he would say the L sound. But we also need the M sound for his mouth being closed. Right here, we can add the M. L vowel, ew. And his tongue goes away. A vowel. The V vowel. Mm. So you can just add mouth movements over it. I'm gonna stop that there because my camera's landing low on battery. But that is how I made the theme song in a nutshell. Thank you for watching that video. We have animation tutorials, media tutorials, tunes, films, and music, so stay tuned and have a great day. These tunes.